welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and this is The Groom, and we're going to talk about Little mm -hmm. Monsters. No, not that Little Monsters, not the one with Fred Savage, the, the mm -hmm. new Little Monsters. No, this Little Monsters. I love this movie. I'm just going to say it right out. This was a very original movie using a very old concept, if that, if that makes any sense. So, tell them about the movie. The movie starts out with our character, David, who's just incessantly arguing with his girlfriend that was uncomfortable like, it made everyone uncomfortable you could tell the people around them in the film were uncomfortable but like also watching it was just kind of like mm, I, I wish we could leave because this is weird i felt uncomfortable watching it but they're that couple you know you see out in public and they're constantly fighting constantly yeah in the so. car everywhere the part when he's eating and they're just screaming at each other and he's still chewing and it's like all right <sighs> so obviously that relationship doesn't last he gets booted out or leaves i'm pretty sure he gets booted out takes his stuff his guitar goes to his sister's house who has a, a little boy i think he's five years old his name is felix so he's really not contributing a lot to the household and is cursing incessantly in front of the five in year front old. of the five-year-old letting him play violent video games and she's pretty much like get out and he's you know just starts crying just starts crying <laughs> he ends up taking felix with him to his ex-girlfriend's house to try to make up for things with a half-assed proposal where he finds out that she's moved on rather quickly, and um, no five-year-old should see that. And the kid was dressed up like Darth Vader. It was very cute. And he kept telling him to stay in character, which was amazing. Yeah. So, um, he's really upset. <laughs> His sister's more upset for him waking up her child in the middle of the night for this, and then witnessing horrible things. Tells him to get out. He starts crying. She says, you know... You just got to contribute more. You got to do something to help me out. You can't be waking up my kid in the middle of the night to take him over to see your ex-girlfriend having sex with a realtor. Got to get it together, David. So he decides to drop off Felix the next day at his school where he meets Miss Caroline, who is the wonderful ukulele playing uh, teacher who all the children love. She sings a lot of Taylor Swift songs to them. Everybody has a fault. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, due to some circumstances with the gastric virus going around, there's no one to help chaperone their school field trip to the zoo with Teddy McGiggles showing up there, who is one of their TV personalities, kind of like, um, I can't think of any children's, like, like the guy from Blue's Clues, I guess. That's the yeah. only thing I could think of. Or, or, or like a Barney, but with no dinosaur suit. Yeah. So... He's going to be at the zoo. They all want to go. Of course, David, who is just completely enamored with Miss Caroline, wants to go. Not for the kids, but just to, like, kind of... Definitely not for the kids. Just be around her, because she's really pretty. So, he does end up going. Uh, was given explicit instructions to take Felix's EpiPen, because he's allergic to everything. Blue I know in the that sky, life. orange in yeah. the thigh. I know that life, Felix. I feel you. EpiPens are no fun. So, of course, what happens in a movie that everything's going so well is a zombie outbreak at the zoo. Teddy McGiggles also. He's there. Zombie outbreak. And we get to witness um, them trying to just entertain, keep under control, and feed a bunch of five-year-olds during a zombie epidemic. Which is nice because it's kind of localized just to the zoo area and the facility that they escaped from. But also, like, terrifying because it's just localized <laughs> where they are. So, we're going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did you like about this movie? I liked the new twist on this because it showed them trying to feed the kids. Because one thing you never see in, like, zo zo in zombie movies is the survival part of it like you you still what? got no no no. you still got to eat you still got to drink water you still like you know it you, they show that in zombie i it's yeah but this in was like it was so centricated in this because of the kids everything was like a need we needed to do this because of the kids we got to keep the kids distracted we got it really was a new fold in zombie movies where it's centricated around protecting these kids but also 
pretty much trying to fool the kids so they wouldn't know what was going on outside. Oh, they thought it was a game. Yeah, because they thought it was a game and it, to keep the kids from being super panicky and everything like that. And the other thing I really liked is the, char- the character development over the course of the movie mm-hmm. was so good. Like, Miss Caroline changed. The kid changed. Uncle David changed. Like, it was... Like, even the kids in his class that were kind of bullies to him, all the characters, like, it, it all really, like, changed. And I really liked that development. You saw characters grow. You saw characters change. I really liked that. It wasn't, like, a linear same person the entire movie and end. Mm-hmm. So, that's what I, those are the two, those are the two things I really, I really liked about it. What, what did you like? I really, really, really enjoyed the comedy element in this. It is so funny. Like, it's hilarious. <clears throat> um, Teddy McGiggle's character, we turn out, is just like this ho- actual horrible person. He's played by Josh Gad. Yeah, he's amazing. He was so good. When they're trying to get into, there's like a, a gift shop that he's holed up in, and they're trying to get in there, and he just will not let them in. <laughs> and then he and David have this epic fight where he just like continuously keeps calling David, like he keeps fat shaming him. <laughs> For no reason, like David's, David's skinnier David's than he David's not is. like a big guy, but he's just like, <laughs> you need to listen up here, man titties, and like, oh, <laughs> what amazing. the heck? I love that. Um, his reactions to things were really genuine. Like, mm-hmm. there's sometimes when you're in a really scary situation, you either can use that to overcome what's scary, and you know you have to do what's right. Or you resort to drinking um, mouthwash and hand sanitizer and you poop your pants. I mean, these are choices. Choices were made. But uh, there's a particular part. It's not really giving anything away because we know that there's a lot of zombies in this. There was a hand puppet that would... um, That was part of... uh, Teddy McGiggle's act. There was like a... I I don't remember what he was. There was a flap on the roof. Yeah. Yeah. And he would come out, and he was like, his like hands. He's like a little sock puppet. And the guy that mans the sock puppet was infected, but it's like the sock was also a zombie, and it was like, and like biting. You know, it was amazing. I loved it so much. (laughs) Oh my god, I laughed so um, hard at that part. Just the the sheer comedy of this was great. Uh, You need that in in a movie that involves such terrifying things as children and zombies because you don't want anything terrible to happen to little kids Mm -hmm. i also thought that i would be incredibly annoyed by all of the kids i was a little annoyed by them but not as bad as i thought for the sheer amount of them that are in this film Mm -hmm. they are five-year-olds and it's an entire class of them and they it's not like they're acting it just seemed like they were kind of like oh you know we're gonna have you go over here and do this because they were just so natural and genuine (laughs) And how they conveyed mm-hmm. things, and I thought that was really great. I liked, uh, I liked that Miss Carolyn really kept her cool. Oh my god! In like the the worst of worst, when she'd say one, two, three, eyes on me, and there's like horrible dismemberment happening around her, and she's just like, oh no, got to take care of these kids. Like, when kudos. The the strawberry jam thing was. Oh, this is strawberry jam. Don't lick it. <laughs> it was like thump off of her and she's yeah. like don't eat that don't eat that um yeah that was uh all right so things we didn't like go ahead oh you go ahead um I, it's it's hard it's hard pressed for me the things i didn't like about this thing because i really there isn't anything that really jumps out that i didn't like mm-hmm. about the movie like if i had to pick like something like you said some of the kids got a little annoying you know but that was like the reality of the like when they were whining that they were hungry i was like um other than that like i really couldn't find anything i didn't like about this movie i really thought it was a good like it had a good balance between comedy like i thought it was gonna be too much com comedy then it came in with a lot of good like zombie kills and stuff and the effects looked great and it was uh, there was a lot of a lot of cool stuff about like when the soldiers find out they're zombies, they go, oh, "Are they slow or fast?" <laughs> That's like a nod at like you know how zombies are so yeah, different. Yeah, like in this movies. isn't a unique phenomenon. Yeah, so. this was. I really, I really liked it. I like. I really can't think of anything I didn't like. You know, that's true. There's a lot of 
zombie movies where they have no idea what they are and they're mm. like oh the dead and it's like have you never in your universe are there no zombie movies and that's the thing i think they, they it was such a realistic thing like oh no what's happening what's happening the guy's like Shh, are they slow or fast makes you think this has <laughs> like happened, happened before, before. that's yeah. what i was thinking so all right so what did you not like I didn't like the um, implied animal death in the movie. I know that's such, like, a nitpicky, stupid thing. But there was, you know, cows I don't really have an attachment to. Yep, don't care. But I felt really bad for one porcupine in particular. And, like, the gag was funny that the zombie had a bunch of quills in its face. But he's holding this poor little thing and you're just like... Yeah, this is like a petting zoo with Aww. a bunch of baby animals. Yeah. So they get murdered. They don't necessarily show any of it, but I like most yeah. animals. That it made may- me sad. Like, yeah, maybe that would be like the one thing. If you, if I had to pick something, it would probably be that, too. I thought but, some of the... Yeah. There was a little bit of issue for me with the pacing that I felt that they lingered too much in certain aspects of the story that really weren't, you know that important they could have moved it on a little bit faster they could have not done the entire beginning of the movie and just started it with him moving in with his sister and i would have been okay yeah, with that that's true that was so, funny though but you know yeah like the the maybe start with the part with like him taking him taking the kid like the arguing part in the plot and the be in the beginning that's the that would probably be the one thing i didn't like about this i thought that was just dumb and made you feel all awkward for watching it it's just eh. I think that I could have done perhaps it. they included that part just to kind of paint a picture of how volatile the relationship of how was. like not good the relationship was, and then when David attempted to propose to her, like why she was so like not nah, too little, too late, like you don't try. Like there's a whole part where it's her birthday party, and there's like on either side of the table, and there's friends sitting between them. And she's, like, screaming at him. And he's like, I'll just give you money next week. You can pick something out you like for your birthday. And she's like, you forgot my birthday. The only reason you knew it was today is because of Facebook. And he's like, well, that's how everyone remembers birthdays. And it's like, the one exception you should make is your significant other. Like, please write their birthday down. Don't, don't trust, stop it. Don't trust Facebook. Like, just, you should know that. You shouldn't. I only know your birthday because it's 11 days away from mine. Yeah. But it wasn't even, the the thing that I picked up on is she's upset about things and she's voicing them and he wasn't acknowledging that he did something wrong. He was kind of just deflecting it back to her and that kind of paints a picture of how he is. So seeing his character develop to where it does, you're like, Yeah, but if you were going to say he didn't care, at least he'd go bang a realtor like the next day. Well... Maybe he doesn't know any realtors other than her. <laughs> what would uh, you rate this movie? I would give this a 4.5. I thought this was a really great movie. Like I said, good character development, good balance between the comedy and the horror. The ending was hilarious. I really like I re- I really like the ending. Yeah. The one the one liner by uh, the guy who's in charge when they're oh. <laughs> that was hilarious like you were like wait what <laughs> he's like wait not what? again and you're <laughs> like you're like wait what you're like again watch the movie you'll and, get it and you'll and you, it, like oh my god it's all it's hilarious like, like i said I, I give this a four point a 4.5 this is almost as good as Shaun of the dead almost as as good not as good but almost that's why i don't think it's a 4.5 Shaun of the dead's the only perfect Okay. What did you rate it? I would give it probably... That was intense. <laughs> I would give it probably like like a 3 out of... Uh, 3.5 out of 5. I felt like some of the pacing was a little eh, off for me, but mm-hmm. I really enjoyed it. I don't know that I would watch it again by myself just because like there's a lot of children in this movie and it's it gets it feels a little overwhelming and i think that's meant to kind of put you in their place like would you be able to deal with like all these 15 five-year-olds no i would not i would not have a good time i don't think i'd make very good decisions and trying to keep everyone safe i'd just be like 
I'm, I'm just gonna drink. I know, I know. You would be Teddy McGiggles. I would be Teddy. <laughs> I'd poop my pants and <laughs> screw <pull>. those kids. <laughs> no, I just I drink. <laughs> Anyways, have you seen this movie? If you have Hulu, it's on there. We got Hulu recently, so Hulu. Hulu. Um, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Le let us know down below in the comments. How are you holding up in general? Because it is a really, really, really tough time right now. And we hope everyone is safe and taking care of themselves, their loved ones. Please check in with everyone you love, everyone you haven't heard from in a little while. See if they need anything. Wash your damn you could hands. Drop off on their porch. Stay away from each other. Social distancing. Drink water. Read a book. Pet a cat. We love you guys. If you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. Also, my solo reviews as well as the ones with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. You can find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator. You can also find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Way. Groom Ray. Gloom Way. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Repeat Groom Ray. They're, the, they're in the, they're at the end. Yeah, they're at the end. Just, Just click on the end. those. I'm horrible at this. All right. Uh, so little, little monsters. Now, the funny thing is we thought the little monsters were the zombies. They were really the children. Stop it. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. guys. wasn't ready. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and this is the groom. And we finally... Did our lights just flicker? Yeah. Lights are gonna go out. We should probably cares? start over. You have everything blocking the microphone. Stop it. I'm not staged. I know. Bop. Oh no! Damn, knock the stuff over. Settings gray down. God, uh, God, I'm so big and clumsy. Whatever. Oh, you can see my pajama pants. <laughs> we should. Can we? Uh, no, don't touch it. Move that up a little bit. Well, you should move up a little bit. You're up. There you go. There you go. Squeeze in here like you actually like like me. Social distancing. Yeah. <laughs>